Yeah, here at Clearfield with first-year head coach Miles Kerrigan, who replaces the legendary Tim Janoko. Uh, Miles, go ahead and introduce the guys you've got with you today. We got Carter Freeland, wide receiver, outside linebacker. We got Isaac Putt, wide receiver, linebacker. We got Nolan Rockmore, uh, guard, nose tackle, and Will Domico, quarterback and corner. Right, guys, let's start with the obvious here. Uh, coach Janoko had been here, I think, 36, 37, 38 years. Uh, and decided to retire after last year. I know Coach Kerrigan was an assistant coach with you guys before, but how's the transition going so far? Uh, I think the transition transition is going uh, pretty good. It's a lot. Of, it's really easy to communicate with Coach Kerrigan on what we think we should be doing, what we think we should be doing, really. And I think the transition has been really good so far. I definitely agree with Will. I feel like it's very easy to communicate with our coaches and just tell them, give them our feedback and just write it out. I like that with Coach Carradine. We feel just as important to the program that we have a say in how stuff's done at practice and everything else. Yep, like they all said, we can get our opinion in and not feel hated by the other coaches or by the head coach and we get to say what we want and what we feel about what we're doing. Miles, you know, when you take over for a legend, <laughs> um, it, it's not always easy. What has been your philosophy in, in taking over? Uh, it's definitely been a big transition. Uh, I mean, he's been coaching here for 42 years, head coach 38 years. So he's definitely left some big shoes to fill. He's done a great job. Um, biggest thing is I want to put players first. I value their opinions. I like to Every player matters to me, whether it's a scout team player to starting returner. Um, it's just been a great transition. These kids have been great. They've worked hard and we're excited for the season. Guys, is there a player on your team that uh, maybe people haven't heard of that they're going to hear of by like October of this year? Um, I'd say Colton Ryan. You know, he'll be a sophomore this year. He stepped up kind of at the end of the last year coming into the playoffs after a few injuries. He made some really nice plays, and this summer he's worked really hard. He's shown up to every practice, and he's really come into his own. What position does he play? He will be like slot receiver and a safety. I would say Evan Kroneski. He came in last year on the special teams, and he did a pretty good job. And this year I've seen how he's improved so much, and I can't wait to be on the field with him. I would say most of our line outside of Nick Baylor and Nolan Rockmore because they haven't played. So when they go out, they'll make an impact. I'd say Colton Ryan as well. Um, you guys, are, it's kind of the same conference, but it's a different conference. It's got a different name. You're in the Laurel Highlands. A lot of the same teams that were in the mountain came over with you guys. But uh, what are you looking most forward to with the new conference setup? I mean, I like how the championship games are like played like the one seed from each side plays in that final week I think that's a pretty cool way to decide who wins the league and everything like that I'm looking forward to just experiencing the new teams I like a challenge so I think it'll be pretty interesting how it all plays out I like the new competition that we'll be facing yeah I'm excited for uh, all the different players we'll get to see and meet and uh, different types of playing that we'll see uh, speaking of playing, when you guys go on the road, do you have a favorite stadium venue that you go into that you know maybe gets the juices flowing? Maybe the fans don't like you, or you just like playing there? Um, Bald Eagle, probably. I think that's just always been a big rivalry, and like especially last year, it was a really close game. And I think this year, it's like kind of just a lot of like bad blood between the two teams. I feel so. I feel like that'll be a good venue to play at. I like traveling to Tyrone just because there is that ble that bad blood between both teams and we all just fight. Just come out swinging. I would have to say Phillipsburg because not only do the football teams dislike each other, but it just seems like the towns hate one another. I'd say Tyrone as well. The bad blood's there and it's always a battle anytime we meet up. Coach, do you have a favorite place to coach at? Uh... Not really. I mean, I hate going down to Central. They're always a tough team. The fans are right on us. Um, small locker room, fight to get on the field, and they have fireworks. They make a big show. But uh, our players love going down there just because of that atmosphere. It makes it a fun football game. Thanks, gentlemen.